Hello and welcome back to the A-Level General English Revision conducted by Online Akura. Today is a continuation of the previous video which was formal letter writing and as you may have guessed we are going to learn informal letter writing today. Let's take a quick look at the slide. Informal letters are written to close acquaintances of the writer, their friends, family, relatives, etc. Since they are written to close relations, the letters have an informal and personal tone. Casual language is used while writing informal letters and sometimes the letters may even have an emotional undertone. Informal letters are mainly used for personal communication so they do not have to follow any specific pattern, format or conventions. They can be written as per the writer's wishes and the requirements of the situation. So the letter is written in a personal fashion in casual unassuming language. If you remember what we learnt in the previous lesson, I told you the formal letters are very much professional and as the name suggests, it's formal. But when it comes to informal letters, you don't have rules and regulations or any boundaries like that because you are writing some to someone that is close to you. If it is not someone who is closer to you, then it obviously should be a formal letter. So informal letters we are writing to our families, friends, relatives, pen pals and there are no boundaries of the, for the language usage. You can use casual language, not like the formal letters. You can basically use any type of language but preferably not anything offensive when you are writing to someone who is closer to you and also you don't have to follow if you remember if you remember we learned a strict format for formal letters but when it comes to informal letters there are no strict format but for the academic purpose if you get to write an informal letter for your A level examination you will have to follow the informal standard informal letter format but in real life if you are writing to a friend there is no need of following any of these things in informal letters so the first thing is the address just like the formal letter the format is almost the same but here we start with our address and once again it's in the left hand side now here too, even though we are writing to someone close, we should be writing our address accurate and completely. Right? The reason is, so if you are expecting a reply or your friend or the family is planning to reply to you, they don't have to go through books or anything to find your address. It's right there written clearly on the letter you sent. So whatever that you have written will be copied and pasted or like copied and written. So there won't be any errors or there won't be any complications during the postal exchange. And if you are writing for a person who is living in another country, you will have to write your country name as well. So suppose you are writing from Sri Lanka to India underneath your address you write Sri Lanka and then once uh, just like the formal letter your address is being followed by the date and then without writing the receiver's address we jump directly to the greeting part 
if you can go through the slide now since you know the person you are writing to the greetings can be informal as well if it is a friend or someone close to your age you can greet them by their first name like dear alex if you are writing to your relative like your mother father aunt uncle etc you may greet them as such for example dear mom and if you are writing to an elder person someone you respect greatly you can address them as mr or mrs like say for an example you are writing a congratulatory letter to your teacher it can be addressed as dear miss mrs alex now here once again if you can remember with the formal letter structure i was very specific as to how to write the greeting there were do's and don'ts in writing the greeting but here once again like we've been discussing there are no rules or regulations in writing the greeting you can even write your friend's pet name or the name that you call them with or you know your mom dad mother father any name that you prefer or that you are communicating with the person that you are writing the letter to and then there is no subject line we jump directly to the body part you can begin writing the actual letter now of course here the introductory paragraph sets the tone for the whole letter you might begin by asking the recipient about their well being or you may say that you hope the letter finds them in good health and great spirits the opening of formal letter informal letter should be casual and comforting it must not be formal and direct as in a business or a formal letter it can be in a very friendly tone you can ask them how they are doing and tell them about yourself and how you and your family or you are how you are doing those kind of a very informal but a friendly note should be there in the first paragraph of an informal letter not like the business letter where you are like direct and cut and short and up to the point the letter overall should maintain a friendly tone but you have to adjust the language and the wordings according to who you are writing to with a friend you can afford to be very casual and flippant even but if you are writing to an elder relative you must be extremely respectful and considerate here the respectfulness and consideration does not mean that you have to stick to the letter write like a business letter or a formal letter but of course you know that you cannot be speaking to your parents the way that you are talking with your friends that is some general knowledge so the tone of the letter and the language that you are using in the letter would differ from the person to person say that even if you take elderly people if you have a very cool aunt or uncle whom you are like really close with that language may be slightly different compared to another aunt and uncle who you are not that close with or who is kind of strict so based on the person even if it's an informal letter based on the receiver the language and the tone should change one way to determine the tonality of your letter is to remember how you talk to the person in conversation and then apply the same syntax and sentiments to the letter here's a tip that i have given you the easiest way to apply the tone and the language is try to remember how you would speak to that person when you meet them face to face how you talk with them in person once you meet them how do you converse with them so basically you can use that same vocabulary and put it into your letter and even for your exam my dear students if you use that particular vocabulary it's not wrong but you have to be very careful because this is an academic paper you cannot use slang or short forms 
simply because you are talking to your friend let's say you say k the uh, which represents okay but in your letter for the exam you can't write the letter k you will obviously have to write okay in the conclusive paragraph some of the reason for writing the letter that is summarize the letter say a meaningful and affectionate goodbye to the reader and do not forget to invite the reader to write back or reply to your letter it shows an intention to keep the conversation going now if you can remember i told you that letter writing was the most famous mode of communication back in those days so once you write the letter you once you write a letter to someone you impatiently wait until you get the reply right so um as kids i remember we used to write letters to santa claus asking for presents telling that we were good children right uh, we used to write letters to our friends and send christmas cards or vesak cards or new year cards to our relatives but once you send a letter back in those days we were impatiently waiting for the reply to come to us so if you don't send the reply it was kind of heartbreaking and was considered as a rude behavior especially if uh, the person who's sending you the letter has asked you some questions or some information you they expect you to write the reply and if you don't it is considered as something very rude and very heartbreaking right and in the academic purpose try to stick your body part for three paragraphs but in reality you can go on for many paragraphs as you wish there is no word limit there is no sweet sweet and um, short and sweet kind of a structure when it comes to formal letters you can go on and on and on in informal letters but in the exam i'm repeating myself but in the exam if you get to write an informal letter try to limit your body paragraphs into maximum three different paragraphs and then comes the signature there is no one way to sign off an informal letter since they do not follow a strict format you may sign off as you please some commonly used phrases are lots of love best best wishes kind regards kindly pick the one that best suits the occasion and then simply sign your name below the greeting so based on the person that you are writing once again you can select the ending part as well this is a sample letter i'll give you a couple of minutes you can go through the letter and see whether whatever we have learned is included in this sample letter here you can see the person has signed as cheers 
probably because he or she is writing this to a group of friends. So that brings us to the end of the session. I hope you understood the lesson. I will see you in another video. Have a great day.